Um, so the command here is plot 2D, which is for 2D plotting. If you look on the right hand side of maximum, right here, you can see there is an option 2D, and it will give you um, the option to create a static plot or something uh, with an animation. Now, anyone can do that. Now, can you type it as a program? That's what's important, especially when we're going to go to R. So the first type of plot that we have is a discrete plot in the sense we have to have discrete values. Um, so if you have discrete values, x values, and discrete y values, we can simply specify um, the x values, y values, and create a discrete plot. So I'm going to define x to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Of course, there are better ways to do this. What is an easier way to create that simple list? Easier than that, without using a for loop this time. Row in the back to create a list zero through six without using a for loop. Make list, create list, either would work. And y two times x plus one. So I've created x and y naturally. Y is simply um, a linear function, two times x plus one. So plot two d this create x and y and it should run so we want to simply plot a sine function in maximum so plot 2d specify the function going to do sine you could use any letter you want um, so i'm going to use u as long as you use the same variable to define your range. So negative two asterisks or times pi, positive two times pi. And for the y-axis, you have to specify y Um, what is the range of a sine function? Uh, minus, one to one. minus one to one. So I'll just do minus one point one to positive one point one. There it is. Good. And oftentimes one may want to evaluate multiple functions or plot multiple functions in other words you want to plot sine you want to plot cosine so in that case you could do plot 2d and mind you maxima is list based so you can actually create a list S sine u cosine you specify the value of you again within a list so sign you Cosine u would be the two functions, and I'm specifying a range for u, and the y values minus 
minus 1.5 to plus 1.5. Oops. So I forgot to put the percent sign right here. This time it worked. So now I've got his sign, I've got sign there as a place, you know, they should be. And you can actually change the color of the lines. So I can add another expression. I believe it is color. Black, blue. We may have to use quotes in our, we have to use quotes here. You don't have to. There you go. Um, so I have the colors changed to black and blue. And you can also change the legends name. So by default, it is going for sign u and cosine u. Those are the names of the function. But if you want to change it to something that you like, So the next one would be legend. And in legend, you have to specify strings. It shouldn't be um, reserved keywords such as black and blue. Color, black, blue, pie, legend. Those are all reserved keywords. Um, but I'm going to give my own name, or oh, Gunley, um, what the hell? I don't know. Just started typing whatever. Okay, sign function, cosine function. And you can see that I've successfully changed the name to sign function and this sign function. Good. Are they clear? Yes. Sir. 